Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In our previous videos, uh, working with Java classes in the model layer, we worked with the employee VO impl, which you can see right here, and the employee VO impl, row impl. And these are just very basic uh, introductions into how to use these classes. Tonight, we're going to be working with the app module. Now, as you recall, the app module contains the actual relationships of the employee and this would represent the manager and this would rep represent the staff in the manager's unit and this would be the jobs that an employee can have and if we create a java class for that we'll just do this one for now you can see that it's created and then you can click it and go to it it has the standard constructor and then it has a, a way to access the employee view object the jobs view object and here you can see that it is getting the second view object which represents the actual employees of a particular unit and then you can see that there is a construct a, a, a method for accessing the manager foreign key link all right so what we're going to do is it's very similar to the other one we're going to add some methods here and I'm going to add them one by one copying and pasting rather than waste your time watching me mistype things first one we're going to do is a very simple get employee record count and you've seen this before and um, when you see it underlined like this, what you need to do is press Alt-Enter, as it says, and then choose the correct library to bring in. Now, it's often hard to know which one, but oracle.jbo is a good guess and the likely candidate in this choice. And again, we're going to go to our... I'm going to do this one by one um, as a way to simplify things, but we're going to go to the JSF and then drag this on so you can see one by one how we do it. Okay, so first of all, we need to publish this. So let's go to our application module and we're going to publish it on the client interface here. So we're going to do that, bring it over there like that, and you can see that all of a sudden we have three more or two more Java methods available to the application and then this. We're going to save it, go over to our app logical module, and um, press refresh. And um, if we go to our JSPX page, oh, excuse me, I still have one out there. We're going to now take that method and drag and drop it onto this form. Now you can see that the application module method is not within the view object method as it was before. So we just grab it on here, and, and we've done the same thing before. This is exactly the same thing as before, um, but it, this time it's at the application, application module level, not the view, view object level as it was before. So we have this, and um, I'm now going to run it. Okay, here is the web page, and we press that, and we get the count is 107. Okay, let's go to our next uh, J Developer application module impl uh, view that we're going to do, or method that we're going to do. Okay, we're going to do two. One that has to do with setting the, the where clause. And um, we have the set imp vo where clause, and string a job is the variable. And you can see that we grab the uh, view object that is listed further down below here. And um, we set the, the job ID to a bind variable. And we basically just create the where clause param on the fly. And then we execute the query. So let's uh, show, how that, show how that's done on the main page. Oh, excuse me. I have to save it. I'll make it. And um, then we have to expose it. Okay. 
And you know what? I'm going to do several others. Just a second. It only makes sense to do these two others here. This one is to remove the where clause. And this one is just to re-execute the query. So uh, it's very simple. Uh, and it makes sense because they're quite related. Okay, so now we're going to move these two over also. And now we're going to go to our form. You can see that they're created now. Save it. Refresh the data object. Go to our form. And I think I'll do this one in the middle. So we've already got the get incorrect cart. We will set the this time I'll do it as a method. Okay, and you can see that we're now going to have a job input value there. And um, we'll do the remove next. And then we'll do re-execute. So we've got three there. Now just for readability's sake, I am going to take this out and replace it with a um, this box. Okay, so we're going to drag the parameter over. And before we had an input text, um, but why have users do that? So I think I'll use the list box. We're going to add job VO. And you can see now that we're going to bind the job VO to this. Um, we'll have a blank item first of list. And now it's putting in a list box there. Save it. And we'll run it. OK, here you can see the form. We have um, the list box showing a number of different types of jobs that are here. And we'll do administration as this. And press, and we get it. Vice President, two of them. We're going to remove the where clause, and we should get everything back again. And uh, this is just re-execute query, which you're not going to really see any results from. But that one works. And so you saw how to do it.